Hi there, my name is Alex Gore, and this is a box of Legos. So why do I have a box of Legos here? Everyone remembers when they were a kid playing with a box of Legos, and you'd always be searching around trying to find what you needed, right? You needed, you know, we used to call them, like this one, we'd call this a 4 by 2 and we'd call, let's find another one, this was a 2 by 2 2 by 2 slanty. But um, the problem was, they were always in these boxes. Well, what's the difference between you know, being a kid uh, playing with Legos or being a professional. One is tools, one is organ organization, and one is just continuing on uh, in that path rather than giving up. So there's a clear analogy here between Legos and what we do in the professional world. The professional world is a little bit more organized. And I'm going to tell you the difference between, you know, two ways to set yourself up. That's the first one, and this is what we offer you. So the first one over here, this is what you get when you order you know, Revit and you open up their blank template. So if you're a student or just learning, you know, this is your, your basic seats, uh, the, you know, the basic stuff that they give you. So you'll get you know, one door that has a bunch of different sizes, one window that has a bunch of different sizes, and some other components to help you on your way. Well, there's a problem with that. Your designs are kind of bigger than that, and your designs, kind of need, more, your designs need more than that. So here's what we offer you. And there's a breakdown of you know, each piece. So the first thing that we offer is a template, right? And that's from four years of experience. And that's from us being young, but having to be competitive, having to be more professional and look better than our competition. So we have honed this throughout the years um, so that your views are set up, so that your uh, sheets are set up, so that your line weights are set up, and so that it looks good. So the difference between this, what you normally get in this, is, is obviously four years of professional work, but also four years of striving to be the best. And then also in that is an expanded version of tools. So if you're trying to build a house with this, it might be a little bit hard. But if you're trying to build with this, it might be a little bit easier. So not only do you just get one window, you get a bunch of windows uh, with a bunch of different sizes, a bunch of floors of a bunch of different sizes. Um, so that, that's, your first, that's your first step. Your second step that normally happens is you search the internet. You search the internet for a bunch of different things. And the problem with that is that they don't always work well. So you'll get, you know, a piece of furniture or, you know, a cabinet that doesn't flex. And why it doesn't flex is because it was created in another program, let's say 3D, uh, 3D Max, and it was just exported to a Revit file and passed off as a Revit file. Well, now you just spent two hours trying to get it to work and trying to assign the materials. So what we did in one of the bonuses were offer you all of these different materials, these, you know, the floors, the desks, the walls, you know, the railings. And the benefit is they're all made by one person, us. So they're all very similar. So if you know how to flex one, you probably know how to flex most of them. Obviously, everything, every piece of content can't flex, but you'll get the general idea. Uh, assigning materials, you know how to assign materials and you know how to look at it. So the second thing, let's say you're making a house, right? So you put all your pieces and your walls and your floors together. You put all your special pieces that make it look good. But now you want to be more professional. Now you want to make a CD set out of it. So the next thing is to kind of, instead of giving you instruction manuals, uh, as books do for teaching, we like to have our students um, and other professionals that we teach work on their own design and teach them through that because then they're excited about it. But the, but the great thing is, you know, when you're at the firm, when you're at a firm, they give you examples. Well, we're going to give you examples too. So the first example you're going to get is a builder style house, right? And that builder style house is going to show you what's necessary in that builder, you know, what kind of views you need, what kind of sheets you need. Um, and it's going to have everything in there. And it's not just going to be the PDF. It's going to be the Revit template. So you can go in there and grab components, look at it, and see what you need to get it done. So those easily come at, you know, 12, 1500 a pop. But we're going to put them in our set so you can have them. The next one that you're going to get is a duplex set. So that's a little bit different than builder set. There's a little bit different details, set up a little bit a different way, but you'll start to see a pattern. So even if you aren't doing a house, you'll start to see, you know, what do you put on the first sheet? What comes next? You know, normally elevations. What come I mean, uh, floor plans. What comes after that elevations? And the last thing that you get is you get a custom uh, home set. So uh, you can see you can see kind of the nitty gritty of how that's put together. 
So once you get all your design set in place and, and everything you know put the way you want it, you can really nail down uh, and, and get into the details and start to hammer out a whole set. So I hope I showed you the difference of why this would be a benefit to you. I think it would save you a ton of hours, a ton of times. And I have to tell you, from builders, we always get the same response. Our plans are the most clear and uh, um, detailed where, where they want it. And they're actually amazing. I don't, I don't know how to say it. I, I hate to brag right now. But builders love our sets. You know, whether they're building, you know, just, just a builder's house, a duplex, or a custom house. So, in today's technology, you know, don't, don't, don't start out with something so limiting when this is what you really might need. So come back to Revit Furniture. Keep checking up. We're going to put up tutorials. Uh, we're going to put up blog posts. Uh, and if, if you like what you see, scroll to the bottom of the page and hopefully purchase it. Uh, email me with any questions and hope to hear from you soon.